only one in 1,000 sea turtle hatchlings will survive to adulthood. This estimate can be determined by comparing the number of hatchlings produced to the extent of mortality seen at different life stages in a given year. But unfortunately, there are gaps in this estimate, particularly in determining where mortality is occurring. For example, we don't know how many hatchlings survive from the time they leave their nest until they reach the water. For an endangered species like the loggerhead sea turtle, this is a crucial gap to fill. Many of you may have seen documentaries where sea turtle hatchlings are leaving the nest and they race towards the water while predators come in for a feast. But these documentaries are often staged or they're documenting a rare daytime hatching event. In nature, hatchlings typically leave the nest at night and the whole process can be over in as quick as five minutes. This makes documenting these events extremely challenging and determining the fate of hatchlings even more difficult. My research aims to fill this gap in our knowledge of what is happening in the short yet critical time of a hatchling's life. By using night vision and night capable cameras, I was able to witness in person and photograph these rarely seen events. I sampled on the east coast of Florida, which has the highest nesting density of loggerhead sea turtles in the world. What I found is that mortality is in fact occurring. I saw predators like bobcats, foxes, night herons, and even ghost crabs preying on these hatchlings. Not only did I see mortality from natural predators, but I saw mortality from human impacts, specifically disorientation. Now in a natural environment, when hatchlings leave the nest, they go towards the brightest horizon, which would typically be out towards the ocean where the stars reflect off the water. But with coastal development, this brightest horizon is often inland, toward condominiums and away from the ocean. These disoriented hatchlings will often die by getting stuck in vegetation and overtaken by ants or simply die of exhaustion. Considering this is such a short period of a hatchling's life, understanding these mortality events can have significant impacts in improving our current population estimates. My research provides a baseline for future studies to study other species of sea turtles. It also provides conservation managers with critical information to ensure that more of these sea turtle hatchlings can successfully make it to the water and contribute to the recovery of this endangered species. Thank you very much. <laughs>